squares of a complex number. So basically, if we are required to find squares of easier number, that one can do very easily. So you can find the square of 3, 4, 6, 7, and so on. But if I were to ask you to find out the square of 24, or say, for example, 43. Now, to find out the square of, find square of 24 and 43. Now, these numbers are not that easy. We know 24 square is equal to 24 into 24. So, either though we take the actual multiplication and sim in which case it might just become a bit difficult for me to understand about it. There is another easier way of doing this. Remember we used to kind of split the additions and deletions in our earlier classes. Similarly, what I can also do here is I can write this as 24 to the power 2 now 24 can also be written as 20 plus 4 to the power 2, right? Or we can write this as 20 plus 4 into 20 plus 4. Now we know the properties that 20 plus 4 into 20 plus 4 can also be written as 20 into 20 plus 4 plus 4 into 20 plus 4. Right? So now 20 into 20 is equal to how much? Now we this know that this is possible. 2 into 2 it gives me 4 and I put in 2 0 here plus 20 into 4 is 80. Now, because I have a 0, so it becomes very easy for me to multiply this. Then 4 times 20 is again 80. And 4 times 4 gives me 60. Now, I can easily do a sum of all these 4 numbers. This gives me 576. So, the square of 24 is 576. I know to start with it seems to be a little difficult to do the calculations by these mode but as you get more and more into practice you will realize that this is fairly easy. Let me do this one for you. This says 43 into 43 right or 40 plus 3 the idea is to put this as close to a 0 as possible. The 40 plus 3 square can also be written as 40 plus 3 into 40 plus 3. So, 40 into 40. This can be written as 40 into 40 plus 3 plus 3 into 40 plus 3. What did I achieve here is that I have split this into two parts, some of which contain zeros, which makes the multiplication easier. So, 4 times 4 gives me 16, 0 and 0, I put in two zeros here. 3 times 4 gives me 12, I put in one zero here. 3 times 40, again the same number and 3 times 3 gives me 9. I do the addition of all these four numbers. What do I get? 1, 8, 4, 9. And that's the square of these four numbers. So, without actual multiplication, I was able to find out the square of these numbers. I hope this is clear. Whenever you are doing such kind of a question, the idea is to break the number into as close a zero multiple as possible and then you use the properties which you have learned of numbers till date to 
kind of solve the problem to bring it into an addition mode.